Hey guys, happy December. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season wherever you are in the world right now. As the year comes to a close, I thought it would be fun to take a look back at all of the places that I was fortunate enough to travel to throughout the year. I think this is the type of video that I would really enjoy watching if someone else made it, so I thought I would make one of my own. And it was really fun to reminisce a little bit as I was scrolling through my phone, remembering all of the trips that I was able to do. And I actually traveled a little bit more than I thought. So with all that being said, let's jump right into it with January. The year started off on a really good note, actually, because I got a photography job with American Airlines to travel to the island of Grenada. I spent a week capturing imagery for them to promote their flight route there, and I actually made an entire video about the best places to visit in Grenada, so you can watch that as well if you're interested by clicking up here, I think it's this side. I always forget which side, but yeah, it'll be up there somewhere. But Anyway, yeah, apart from this being essentially a dream job working with an airline to capture travel imagery, it was also nice to just get out of LA for a little bit because believe it or not, last January, it was really cold and cloudy every day. Like the sun was just non-existent almost. I thought I had actually been tricked or something moving here because I was like, I thought LA was supposed to be sunny, but it was cloudy and rainy every day. It even hailed one time over the winter uh, here. So yeah, it was really nice to just get away from that and get somewhere sunny and tropical to start the year. In February, I mostly stayed here in the apartment since I had just recently moved out of living in my car full time back to being in an apartment again. So as you can probably imagine, with that comes a lot of work to furnish an entire place from scratch. Like I had no furniture, nothing. So yeah, way more work than I thought. I have videos actually on both of those things, so living out of my car, my setup there, and also moving back into this apartment. If you want to watch the full videos of those experiences, I will also link them above. Uh, I swear not every month in this video is just gonna be me promoing other videos, but <laughs> these first couple months, uh, these videos seem relevant if you are interested in watching and hearing more about those stories of my life, I guess. Moving on to March, I was still working on the apartment, so I mostly just did some local travel. I went to Death Valley for a few days because I wanted to make it over there before it got insanely way too hot to go in the summer. I also went to Montana de Oro State Park over on the coast for the first time and was pleasantly surprised by how cool that whole area was. After that, I went to Morro Bay, which is a classic spot over here as well that I've been to a number of times and apart from that i mostly just stayed here i spent some time filming around la for my moving to la video and also got one of my favorite photos of the year over in malibu shooting the golden mountain layers one evening so overall it was not the most spectacular month but a fairly productive one nonetheless April came along and suddenly all everyone was talking about over here was the super bloom hitting California, which on average only happens once every 10 years. So feeling the FOMO, I headed out twice in search of the colorful hills of flowers and found some pretty cool areas actually. It was pretty insane to see the California hills looking so lush when normally a lot of the areas are dead and desert-like. So I'm pretty glad I took the opportunity to go explore a bit to see this rather than just stay at home. Apart from that, I took one trip up the coast to Big Sur since I had a video job in San Francisco. So it kind of just made sense to spend a couple days driving up the coast there, taking the scenic route, if you will. And that was pretty much it for April. Okay, this is where my year started to get really busy. At the beginning of May, I flew out to Utah to meet up with some friends for a desert photography trip. We were visiting some familiar spots, but the main reason I was really excited about this particular trip is because we were going to a spot I had wanted to visit for years, but hadn't been able to make it to before because it takes a decent amount of 
planning since you have to off-road to get there. So I'm currently working on a full video from this trip actually that will be out soon. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, this trip definitely did not disappoint and I'm really excited to get that video out soon. After that, I had a couple days at home before back-to-back -back client shoots, one in San Francisco again, and then one in Tempe, Arizona. Once I was home from both of those, I was ready to have a much deserved relaxing break time at home when my friend Blaine called me and said him and our other friend Tyler were going to send it over to Yosemite since there was record-breaking flooding happening in the valley. So once again, the power of FOMO struck and next thing I knew I was off to Yosemite. But that being said, I am so glad I said yes to that trip since it turned out to be one of the most memorable of the year. Again, sorry for the promo, but I did make a whole video about this trip as well. So if you are interested, I will link it above. I'm fairly proud of how that particular video turned out, so I don't feel too bad giving a little promo on it here. So yeah, definitely go check it out if any of the footage you just saw on screen looks remotely interesting to you. I finally got some more time at home in June. I think this month I only had one client shoot to travel for, and I also shot with my friend Preethi at this really cool flower patch on the coast that only blooms around June every year. Apart from that, I think I just focused on getting a routine going again at home and editing all of the content that I had shot over the last few months traveling. July came and I really wanted to do some more backpacking this year, but for a couple different reasons, I had to push my backpacking trip a month later into August. So instead of that, I decided to head to the Tetons with my friend Santiago since I had never been there before and it seemed like a pretty easy and cool trip to do ahead of what would be a hectic August. I really enjoyed our week spent in the Tetons and it's definitely somewhere I could see myself visiting again. August marks the return of traveling way too much again. My siblings came to visit, so naturally I had to take them to some of my favorite spots here. We started by going up to Big Sur, and then we also made our way over to Yosemite and Sequoia National Parks. After that, I flew to Wisconsin to visit my parents for a week, which was really nice actually, since they live in this kind of remote spot up on a lake in the woods. So I was able to take some much needed rest and family time up there. And then to round out the month, I had that backpacking trip that I had to delay from July. So I flew to Washington and did that trip with some friends out to a remote Alpine lake that I had been dying to make it to for a really long time. So it was an incredible three days spent out there, even though we did actually have some complications with the weather. So I didn't make it to one of the spots that I really wanted to go to on that route. So I might be planning another trip out there at some point to, you know, finally make it there. But even with that being said, it was definitely one of the highlights of the summer still. After Washington, I was home for, I think, nine days before heading to Norway to meet up with my friend Tavis, who was flying over from Australia. We were working with a really cool camper van company over there, so shout out to Cabin Campers. If you're going to Norway and you want to live that camper van lifestyle, you should definitely look them up. We traveled around the country for almost three weeks. The first half we spent in the south, and then the second half we flew up to the north uh, in the Lofoten Islands. This was my big trip of the year that had been months in the making and it really delivered. I actually celebrated my birthday while I was there as well. And yeah, it was just one of those trips that I will remember for the rest of my life. I have no doubts about that. I worked on several video projects while I was there and the first one is uploaded to the channel already. So I swear this is the last promo in this video, but you can go and watch that one as well if you're interested in seeing some Norway goodness mixed with some of my thoughts about celebrating my 28th birthday over there and essentially what it means to be getting older. After returning from Norway, I thought about heading out to shoot the fall color here in the US since that's what I would normally be doing in 
October. In fact, I think I've done that for the last four years in a row and always had a great time. It's one of my favorite times of the year for sure, but I honestly, this year was just so tired and burnt out from traveling that I just knew I needed a break. As much as it pained me to miss out, I accepted the fact that I needed some time at home to just recover. So I didn't really go anywhere in October, which was actually really nice to have that break. You know, I think you actually do need to recognize when it's time to take a break and fully reset. And for me, I needed that entire month to just get back in my routine and reset everything and not go anywhere. So that was my October. By the time November comes around, I feel like I usually try to wind down travel for the year. I did a couple local trips again to Yosemite, Death Valley, and the Sierras, but nothing crazy. I really enjoy taking this time of year to get into a home routine, get everything in order, and start planning for next year. So that's exactly what I did, kind of following on from October a little bit. But I also find it really cool that I'm able to wind down from travel at this time of year but also visit national parks and go hiking and visit these insanely cool places that are relatively close to me, like a couple hour drive away while doing that. That's a lot of the reason that I decided I wanted to move over here to the West Coast in general is because of that, like being able to casually just visit amazing places, but still feel like I'm at home for the most part, if that makes sense. Okay, we made it to December. Assuming I edited this video fast enough, it should currently be December when this is uploaded. I spent this month kind of similarly to the tail end of November, mostly just being at home, trying to get my life together, and then at the end of the month, visited my family for the holidays. So I really only had one last minute kind of trip over to Joshua Tree to shoot a brand deal for a clothing company, which turned out to be really fun, Ashley, because despite living in LA for just over a year now, I had not made the short drive over to Joshua Tree until this month. I think sometimes you take those kind of close and easy destinations for granted sometimes. So it was nice to have a reason to go over there and explore Joshua Tree for the first time. Okay, I think I will end the video here. I certainly had fun looking back on all the experiences I was lucky enough to have this year, but please let me know if that was a cool idea or not. Like, was it actually fun to watch? I genuinely am not sure, so let me know. Also, I just wanna clarify that I recognize how much of a blessing it is that I'm in a position to be able to travel as part of my job. I have worked super hard to get to a place where I'm able to make this happen, uh, and this video was in no way trying to be like a look at how cool I am and how many places I got to go video, but rather just a fun little way to recap the year. So I hope that's how it came across. And if anything, I want it to be like a motivational, you know, if this is something you want to do, I want it to be like a you can do this too type video, I guess, you know? I truly believe that there's no better time than right now to take what you're passionate about, so in my case, photography and travel, and turn it into a profitable business. So if you're watching this and you're like, wow, I wish I could do that, I kind of just wanna say like, you know, if I can manage to make this happen somehow, then you can as well. So if anything, that's the message I want to get across. But anyway, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. Uh, so to wrap up, uh, I just want to wish you a happy holiday season. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again in the new year, 2024 for some new videos. <laughs>